Welcome back. Today we are going over Project Shorty AR-15. Now I built this in the beginning of the year and I just wanted to show you guys what all it is and then we're going to fire about 20 rounds out of it. This gun is a blast to shoot. So let's go ahead and start with the upper. The upper is a PSA 10 and a half inch free floated handguard M lock and I love it. I love how you can see it right here, it's got the cutouts. So when you grab it, if you're one of these that uh, hold it like that, that makes it perfect because you ain't got the real sections hitting your hand and then you can get a nice good grip on it. So that's the upper that's on here. The bolt carrier group is a nickel boron from AIM Surplus. I've done a video on this before, way back in the beginning when I started doing videos, and I really like it. Um, the lower is a ATI lower. It's a mid-range lower. It's pretty decent. I've had no issues with it. Now, the lower parts kit is also a PSA, and it's the uh, enhanced polished trigger. Now, I'm debating on if I wanted to change the springs in this with the JP springs or not. I got the JP springs in a 16 inch, and it really does a good job at lightening the trigger up. And then the stock is the reason why I bought this. I've been wanting to do a pistol build forever, but I always hated the braces. They're either like big hunks of rubber or just ugly plastic. This is the SB3 brace that's made for Palmetto State Armory, which it has right there. Absolutely love this. This is why I wanted a pistol and wanted this on a pistol. I absolutely love it. And then the grip, we got a Magpul. I think this is the Mo M2. It's a rubber that rubber textured grip, and I really like that. Got the Magpul trigger guard on it. ASC Ambi charging handle on it. I've been doing testing on this, and I'll tell you what, out of all the ones I've bought and everything they sent this out to the channel for me to try out i absolutely love this thing being a lefty and you do it right-handed just love it now the red dot on it is just a field sport one off of amazon i know his channel ain't on anymore but uh dirt road gun show actually sent this out to me to try out i got it on a monstrum tactical mount and the flip up sights these are the ones that the uh, Crazy Scotsman sent out to me from Amazon. They work pretty good too. So let me go ahead and grab my mag and load this up and let's fire it a few times. Okay, right now the only thing I brought out with me because I was sighting this in and then I decided to do a video on it is I just got a uh, 10 round Elander magazine. We're going to go ahead and slap that in and then we're going to use the, uh, since I'm a lefty, Ambi charging handle. Now, I was having an issue with this loading around when I was sighting it in, but I think it's because the magazine was brand new, but it looked like it chambered around that time. So far, after I got it in a couple of uses, this Elander uh, 10 round mags has worked pretty good. So let's go ahead, use that ambi safety, take it off the safe, and let's fire some rounds. And they all locked open. Man, AR pistols are fun. I'm glad I built this thing. Let me go ahead and load this bag back up. I'll be right back. All right, I got 10 more rounds loaded back up in it. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to drop the bolt like this. Go ahead and hit that safety. Both of those are ambi. It's like this gun was built for me. Oh, wait, that's because I did build it for me. So let's go ahead and finish out these 10 rounds. And as you can see, this thing fires awesome. I'm highly, highly happy with this 10 and a half inch upper from PSA. This is the first thing I've ever got from, or I should say the first upper I've ever got from Palmetto State Armory. I have used their lower uh, parts kits before with a EPT uh, trigger in it. That's what's in my 16 inch rifle build. So there you guys go, project. Shorty AR-15. Highly satisfied that I built this. Well, that's all I got for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.